Hey y'all, so we're going to finish up our little blue jay today. So I'm just getting all my paints out, getting them ready. So I hope y'all are having a good day today. I just got to finish his little body and then I'm going to add in the little branch that he's sitting on and a little piece of wood that he's sitting on and then we're going to add in a background but I'm going to try to go ahead and get him finished up first just got to get my colors right to match where we left off last time I'm repainting all of his tail just so I can blend these colors a little bit. So we do need to go back in and add our whites and kind of mix it in. So just getting all of this paint back wet and some different tones so that the background of it looks like his feathers and then we can add that minor detail to it to make it like his pattern. So I'm going to start off kind of heavy with my black and then I'm just going to go in and blend it out a little bit so that it kind of blends with his feathers and his different color tones. Now that we have our black, we're going to go in with our dark blue and just blend it out a little bit. So right on the edges of our black, I'm going to blend it. This is a little bit tedious, super tiny detail. And this white right here, I'm not even going to worry about like covering that or whatever because I'm going to go back and add more white to that to brighten that up.
So yeah, I'm going to add in my white. And I'm not going to be super detailed with this. I'm just getting a general basis for this. So his tail is just what I've got to work on. So I think I need to add in some more white though. We gotta make this a little bit more defined. All right, we gotta flip this camera back around because we lost connection. All right, there we go.
So I'm just adding in these undertones here to try to darken it to make it look more like this is under him where the shadows are. So I'm adding in just a little bit darker and I'm trying to just blend it so it's not super dramatic. I'm going to keep checking. Hopefully the stream doesn't get interrupted again. I don't know what happened with that. I'm just trying to give him like a textured look to look more like his feathers, like he's fluffy, like he'd be really soft. But I also struggle with just like not wanting to keep messing with it too much because I don't want to like ruin the progress, so I tend to like hold myself back because of that just because I don't want to like destroy what I've already like you know the progress that I've made on it but usually that stops me from being able to create like a really nice piece because I'm just not adding all the detail because I'm too scared to like mess it up <laughs> especially with new stuff that I don't really paint often but I really do enjoy painting birds, so I'm trying to get more used to just how to go about this. He's still not super detailed, but I just may leave him like this and just be not as detailed as like the individual little pieces of him. 
like all these little individual markings. I don't know if I'm going to go super in depth with them. Just have like a general basis going. So I'm going to darken under this white part right here and just try to give that more of a dimensional look. Because it still looks a little too flat. Maybe too much black and not enough like light blue. That's a little bit better. And then right here, and I think I might leave it after this and then move on to his little branch that he's sitting on. So all I have for my brown, I don't have a whole lot of browns, so I have this hazelnut by Waverly Chalk Paint that we're going to use for that. Let me see if I have a little bit of a darker color. Okay. So yes, we have this hazelnut color. I have this nutmeg color I'm going to use also, and we're going to just do like a light color and then do our details with our black with our darker color so this paint is kind of goopy that's okay so i'm just going to start with like a base color probably add in some white to it too and just mix it so this is my little paint board here but just mix it all together until I get like a light brown. And then we're just going to paint around his little feet. I want this piece to be a little bit higher though. I'm just going to touch up his feet because I'm actually covering his little feet up a little bit. But that's the easy fix of just going back and repainting his little feet for any lost pieces that we may have. So not too worried about that. But now I just got to do some minor detail to this. Just make it look more textured because right now it's just a blob. Just tiny, tiny detail. 
And the black is a little bit too dramatic, so I'm going to have to blend that out. But I'm just getting some lines in here. And then I'm going to mix it in with the brown. And that's usually how I always go about it whenever I'm doing like a shading or anything. So you can just work it out. Like with acrylic paints, it's a lot easier to just like fix your errors or keep working with it and like spreading it around. As long as you get it before it dries. So this is like a log, so I want to try to make it look super smooth. bugging me being right here on this canvas so I mean on the holder so I'm gonna pick it up because I'm just painting right on that kind of driving me crazy we're just gonna add in some little dots just roughly a little texture I need some gray. That's what I think I'm going to make. All right, I think we're gonna go with this being more like a rock. <laughs> I don't think we're gonna make this a branch of any sort. I just wanna have like a little, just something that he's sitting on, but to me, it looks better with this color tone I have going here. So I'm just gonna add in some black around his little feet and then we can repaint his feet where we lost them. But just like the little shadowing, that's a little bit too dark. So this is what I'm working with here. Just blending it out until I get kind of a darker shade to go right below where he's at. And then just stretch it out. So it's kind of like a little shadow, but not too crazy. Where it's not super dramatic. So just blending it out. I'm going to add in some white to lighten it a little bit, give it a little more dimension. And just slightly blend those out. So on this side of the rock where it's going to be lighter, I'm going to add in some white and then just blend that out too. So you want to take a little bit of water and just blend right here. Just because it was a little more brown showing through right there, I didn't really like that. And the bonus with like acrylics, when you mix a little bit of water with them, it helps blend them out a lot better. If you're having trouble with that or just spreading it to like thin it out, 
if it's too dark or whatever. Like it just helps with the blending process. So now we're gonna recreate his little feet because I kind of lost them there. Too blue. I wanted to add a little blue so it'd be more like his legs or like how we initially had it. Yeah. I need a little more paint to work with. That's a little too blue. And right here where I made his little claw a little bit too big, I'm just going to go back and add my gray color, a mix, just to fix that little error. And just get that back like it was, or sort of like it was. Alright, so now we're going to add some highlights on his feet, so I'm just dabbing on it gently. So I added a little bit of water and this helps spread this paint out because it was kind of dry on my paintbrush so it wasn't really like going very far. And I didn't want to be too heavy with it either so I'm trying to find a good balance with it.
Okay, so for now, I'm going to leave that, and then I'm going to work on this background color. So I'm going to just try to make it more like a blurred scene is what we're going to go for. It's not going to be detailed for the background at all because I want the focus to be on our little blue jay. I'm going to first get a picture of him. So it'll be easier to use for the digital as just him instead of the background. So I'm just gonna mix some green with a little bit of black Start with green and just dab in other colors. I'm going to thin it out too so it's not super heavy. need to get some oranges going too. And it looks crazy, but we're just going to keep blending and we're just doing like a blurred background. So it's just going to be different tones, different colors. 
that we're mixing in. I'm going to go get some reds too, I think, to add in here.
We're going to have to layer it up on these lighter colors because it shows the canvas through and it makes it look kind of weird. So I'm just going to do my first layer and then just add in more layers on top of that. And just keep blending it out. So now we got to start getting close to our little blue jay here. So I'm going to try to get my colors right of what I kind of want them to be, just like a light green color. And then just take my paintbrush and just work around him. And just let the paintbrush get as close as possible with it. So if you like push the paintbrush bristles out, then you can just kind of like trace right along where he's at. Obviously, it would have been easier to do this background first and then paint him on top of it. But I wanted to get just him first and then see where I wanted to go with it, whether I wanted to keep going or if I just wanted to do the little blue jay. But this is all experimental anyway. I haven't done a like mixed background like this before. I'm usually very detailed in what I do as far as the painting as like a whole. So it may bug me a bit that it's just like not defined on what's going on in the background, but I'm trying to keep him as the focus of the painting and not lose that to like too busy of a background. So we shall see how it goes. Get my music back going. I'm going to flip him over because it's just easier for me to do it like this. So I can push my bristles along and just trace right around him. So now we're just going to take our darker and just mix it in and keep blending this out until we get the look we want.
gonna get a little bit of my orange and We might try some red too, mix up a little bit. So now we have his whole body outlined. We just have to go between his little legs to um, fill in that little bit of a space, but I'm just going to get a smaller brush and do that. But now we have the whole canvas painted, and now I'm just going to go in and add and fill in all the little spaces where the paint looks too thin, add in more colors, and just make it like a little forest type background. Like over here, the paint looks so thin, and I think that's from where I added in some water, so it kind of got rid of the, um, it made it to where it wouldn't stick, like the paint didn't really take to the canvas. So this is how I have it blended. I'm just using different tones and mixing them together. And then just kind of going out throughout the whole painting to blend in edges to try to keep that same color tone going throughout the whole background.
So yeah, down here at the bottom, it was more light and I'm trying to keep that going. So I'm gonna add in some more light color and a little bit of this brown, brush that out and then blend it. And I'm gonna have to take my tiny brush to like dab around him so he doesn't have like a light soft glow around him. Don't want it to be super noticeable. So just a whole lot of blending. I like the color that the orange made, so I'm gonna add some more of that down here in the bottom. It gives that a little more warmness. I haven't added red yet, and I don't know that I will now because the orange kind of did the job. It's just softening out all these little brush strokes. Alright, so I'm making a little tiny paintbrush, just a smaller one, to try to get these outer bits and blend him into the bigger portions. So, well, first thing I need to do is go ahead and get right here. So we're just going to paint that out and right here between his legs. I want to do that a little bit darker, so I'm going to add a little black. Just blending out with our little brush so that it fits with the rest of it.
Now I just gotta get around his tail. I'm going to wet some black and do a little bit of a light outline around everything. Not around every little detail, but just enough. So I'm going to flip it over again because it's so much easier for me to do it this way. So I think we will just have him like this with his little green background. I would like to add some more colors to it. 
like maybe blend it in red or something to try to break it up, but I don't know. I'm not too sure about that. So this is where I may leave it for now. We can try. Let's just try to add in a little bit of red into this background over here. And we'll just blend it out or just smear it out a little bit. And I may add in some green just to blur it out too. I just add a little bit more color to this. Maybe down here as well. Hmm. I've added a little more color to it. Maybe do a little bit of red down here. Maybe right along the edges. I'm just trying to warm this up a little bit and break up these greens a little bit. So I'm just going to blend it out, just kind of dry brushing, and then mix in a tiny, tiny bit of green to just help blend it better. So that's kind of a mix of different colors going. Just need a little bit of lighter tones over here.
Well, I don't know what I may end up adding to this. I still feel like it's not complete, but so far, this is where we'll leave that because we can always keep adding to it. I can come back and add to it later, but I think this is where we're going to leave it. Overall, my little blue jay, I love him. The background is something I'm going to have to work at. This is the first time I'm trying to do like a blurred look for a background. And honestly, it'd probably be a lot easier if I do start with that first next time and just plan this out a little bit differently. But he is like the focal point of it. I think if I could just figure out how to like make it look blended around him, maybe like blend out the black like softly or something. I don't know, just to make it look a little more fitting. This is where I think I will leave it. I appreciate those who joined in. This is how he looks. Let me get up because I have the camera where I can't really see what's going on. So this is how he looks. I'll probably also post a picture in the community tab as well on my YouTube channel. And then I'll post in other, my other socials as well. But this is how he ultimately turned out with his little blurred background. Let me know what you guys think of it in the comments and what you would like to see next. If you guys have any ideas on um, what type of painting we should try next, I'm going to look at some ideas and plan that out uh, maybe for next week. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to stream again this week or not. More than likely, I won't be able to, so I'll probably just try to aim for next week and plan that out and post for you guys to let you know when I plan to get back on and what we plan to do. I hope to do a craft stream uh, soon as well because I did have a few people vote for that. But I just need to um, yeah, figure out what I want to do with that and what type of craft I want to do with you guys. So that'll be another upcoming stream as well. But like I posted on my Facebook page, I plan to do like at least two streams a week. It may be two paintings. It may be a stream of painting and crafts. It just all depends on how things are going, how busy I am with this business as well, um, of how often and what we do. But I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you have a good day today and just check back. And um, I will talk to you guys later and have a good day. See you later. Thanks for tuning in. Bye, y'all.